Does your inventory look like this? Do you want your inventory to look like this? Then like the video, subscribe, and watch the entire video because today I'm going to be changing my subscribers' lives. I'm going to be showing you how to get rich on FBU, everything you need to know in this video. So watch the whole thing. Before this video starts, I wanna let you guys know that you have to be on the lookout in every single video that I post on FBU from now until forever because there's gonna be a code for the first few hours of the video coming out that will work and give you some coin in the game. So you definitely wanna be here when the videos come right out and keep your eyes peeled for those codes because everybody likes free coins, right? Now FBU trading is really an easy thing to get into it's not really that hard to get started and to make profit and get items that you want to wear. The first thing you need to do to actually get into the trade hub is you need to play 25 games or buy the game pass in the description. Now, I personally advise against buying the game pass because playing the 25 games is going to get you enough coins to actually like buy packs and have items to trade. So I feel like you should, you might as well just play the games and you're going to have enough coins to do whatever you need to do now for the sake of this video i've made a new account called alt underscore trading uh it's just like a trading account and i've given it some coins and i bought the game pass on it so basically this is where you would be i don't know if you'd have 300k coins or how many you would get after 25 games but you should have enough to go to the store go to item packs and buy all pro pack now before it used to be the pro packs um i don't know if it's still that case but like back when i used to play it used to be pro packs are the best ones to open if you want elites either open all pro packs or pro packs pro packs you're going to get more bronzes and silvers and less golds but you have the same chance as an elite in both and this is half the price but from what i can see i actually want to recommend to y'all use the pro packs buy the pro packs because what you want are elites you don't it doesn't matter if you get bronzes or silvers because I'm going to show you a trick to get rid of those bronzes and silvers and actually get better items than that. So I definitely do recommend the Pro Packs. So I'm going to open up the rest of these coins in Pro Packs and I'll be right back with you and I'll show you what I have in my inventory. Six and a half hours later. This should be my last pack. Let's see what we get out of this. Um, silver animation. Gold visor. I didn't get that. I actually got really unlucky with this pack opening, I guess it is. But that's okay because I have tricks for y'all. This is the whole point of the video. I'm just gonna show you what I have right now. So I have all these bronzes. I have all these silvers. And I have all these golds. And these are my elites right now. I have some neon yellow cleats uh, and two mouthpieces. So that's what I have right now. Before I get into my next point, I have to teach y'all something else. You have to learn the difference between wrap and value. All right, so here we are in the trade hub. As you can see over my name, I now have 688K wrap. Wrap is like the amount that someone would pay for the item, like in coins. Value is how much the item is worth compared to other items. And if you don't know the value of an item, there's a document down below. I'm gonna show a screenshot of it right here. It tells you what items have value and what don't, like what things are just equal to their wrap and what have a little higher value or not. So I don't know if I have any items of value right now. I think the white neon has value, let me check. Nope. Neon white does have a little more value than like other items because it's good and it goes well with some really high demand items like the neon white visor, the marshmallow visor, the, the neon white beast mode visor, the halo helmet that's an exotic. Like all these white neon items go well with this mouthpiece. So that's why it has a little higher value than everything else. And you have to understand like what items are worth it and what items aren't before you go into this next tip. For my next tip, we're going to go over to customize and then we're going to go into sets. Now, you want to trade in the items that you don't need. All these trash items. You don't need none of those. Nobody wants to trade for your bronzes. So you can just trade them up and you can get a random silver item. And just like that, we have a pacifier mouthpiece. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill these up because all the bronze items aren't really that good. Unless it's a limited, it's not that good. Or if you wanna wear it, like these beards, if you wanna wear the beard, then you should keep the beard. 
you know it's it's all about what you want to wear but these bronze items have no real trade value and i'd rather i'd rather you just go here and trade them in than try and go to the trade hub and get embarrassed when you're sending people bronzes that they don't want so here andrew's beard i feel like that one's a higher it's better than other bronzes and like i would actually wear andrew's beard so i don't ever trade that in because i actually like that add-on i feel like it goes good with other add-ons so yeah i keep andrew's beard but for most bronzes i just get rid of them so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of all our bronzes right now Okay, this should be the last trade-in for the bronzes. And then I'm going to go ahead over to the silvers, and we're going to do the same thing. You want to go down to the silver card trade-in, fill this up with silvers. It doesn't really matter. Unless it's like a good silver that's like a limited, then you can go ahead and get rid of it. I kind of like this golden ball, so I'm not going to get rid of it. All you have to do is click it. It takes it off the list, and you can fill it up again. And then if you like what you see get, you're getting rid of, go ahead and complete it. It's going to give you a pack, just like the bronze ones, and it's going to give you some gold items. See, now I have Kirk Cousins. Did I want him? No. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and trade in all the silver items, and then I'll be right back. All right, I think this is the last silver trade-in. I think. Let's go back to my inventory and look. This is my inventory now. Three bronzes, three silvers, and then we have a lot of golds. I might be able to do a trade-in with the golds. I don't know, because trade-ins with golds, you can't just do golds for elites. You have to do like specific items for the elites so i don't know if i can do that because i don't know if i have enough we can go look but i don't think so so yeah i think this is where we're at for tra for set trade-ins all right y'all when y'all do the sets you definitely will drop and wrap i dropped like 60 or 80k wrap or something like that but it was just off useless stuff so like i'd rather have wrap that you can like actually trade and do stuff with than like bronzes and stuff that nobody wants you're just gonna have no items to trade and this, that, and the third. But I know we're like seven minutes in. We're just now getting in the trade hub. But that's okay. Because, you know, you need to do all that stuff first. You need to have some items first. If you already had items and stuff, I'm sorry. Uh, but that was for people that are just now getting on the game. So some tips for you. I think you guys should definitely just go in the chat and say, send me trades. Just let people know that you're open to trade. You have items. You're ready to trade. And you're looking to trade, okay? You're going to get more trades just for asking. You want to go over to rec trades, this means like inbound trades, trades that are coming to you. And you just want to look at them. Now this trade, he's giving me three silver visors for my gold animation. Now his total value, they should really change this to wrap. This is wrap, this is not value. His total wrap is 4.8k. My total wrap is 30,000. So there's no way I'm accepting this trade, it's just not good for me. You can either go over here and decline the trade or you can just press counter trade and see what stuff he has and see if he has something that you would want for your items. This dude does not have much, so we're just going to go ahead and decline his trade. All right. I said send me trades in chat. I got another trade. This one's from TTV underscore Reese. He's giving me three bronze items for a silver item and a gold item. His total wrap is 43,000 and mine is 50,000. Now, sometimes you would accept a trade like this, but 
not with this many items he's giving for your item so what you want to try to do is if you're getting more items you definitely want more value or more wrap because now he's going from five items to two items and he's getting extra wrap so this is just nothing but a win for him so we're just gonna see what he has and try to counter this trade now he doesn't have much either Mm, actually no we're just gonna decline his trade yeah I'm recording this at a time where not a lot of people are in the trade hub so I'm not gonna get that many trades so I'm gonna show you guys how sending trades work you go to send trades you find the person you want to send a trade to let's just send a trade to Jahun 12 look for an item you want or just an item that you think would be nice to trade your items for let's see he has the blue neon now people really like the neon cleats because they stand out really well. So let's see if we have anything that he would take for those cleats. Here we have the Supreme Mouthpiece. It's the same exact value, but this item is definitely better. Like people will want this way more. So let's just see if he would accept this trade. If people don't accept your trade, don't worry. There's other people in the trade hub. There's other people out there that will trade items with you. You don't have to get every single one of your trades accepted. And you don't have to trade with every single person. I mean, sometimes there's just not a deal there. Sometimes what you want and what they want doesn't match up. So you just got to keep trading. I've showed you how to send trades, receive trades, how to analyze trades at this level. Now, if you want a part two for like higher value traders, things like that, let me know down below. And if you want to see like a trade series on this account with these items, let me know down below too, because I think that would be fun to do. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up here. If I did help you, let me know. Uh, if you did like this video, like, that'd be great. Subscribe, that'd be great. Share, that'd be great. And I'm out. Deuces.